Well, hello back again. Uh, this short little tutorial is how to create a co-host when uh, in your care teams. Um, co-host uh, where um, the administrator will allow another adult to have most of the features and what I'm finding out now is uh, not total control as the admin himself but allows them to do a variety of things if you were not a host. And we'll talk about breakout rooms and some of the limitations um, it does have. So uh, what I like to do is just launch um, my webinar here today um, and take a look at those tools. Um, okay, let me just take a look at the tools along the bottom here as we prepare. So first of all, we did a tutorial already about your polling. Your polling should be already established. There was about three little videos we did in the earlier um, tutorial. Um, the polling process takes place, excuse me, polling, the, um, I don't know if I can do it without someone else here. So what I do want to show in this video is kind of where to find it and how to maybe click on it. You're going to have it under your manage participants or participants. If, well, if you're an admin, it's going to be manage participants. Uh, most students on the other side of the Zoom will just say participants. But just real short, real quickly, it's about a two minute little video where to find it, and it's kind of hard to demonstrate it without an additional person to hand over who is not. Matter of fact, um, uh, one of the things I can do is actually join it um, with my phone, and uh, I'll do that here real soon. But uh, anyway, you go to Manage Participants. There will be a drop down. Instead of Rename, it will say uh, More, and you'll hit that More Options, and it will give the second or third party that you choose, or actually two people can create a code. So you can't. I don't think you can have over two, um, two, and you would turn that into it. So. I'm going to actually pause for a moment and get my phone ready and kind of see if I can demonstrate it more detail. Access this um, with my phone to kind of see, show you how you could uh, create a co-host with your uh, Zoom account. So once again, here's the second party, which is me with my second phone. Click on the three dots and it's as simple as scrolling down and make the co-host. Um, you'll have an option that says, do you want to make Phil Quinlan the co-host or whoever that other person may be who's joined you? Okay. And what popped up on my phone that you don't see is basically a notification across the top that your second party has become the co-host. From there, um, they are allowed to do uh, have additional tools like launch a poll. I'm pretty sure they can also record. Um, and but what we found out our experience this week is they couldn't do some um, breakout rooms so that was limited to just the admin person himself so once again creating a co-host um, go up to your second party three dots and um, uh, allow them to be co-host uh, but i want to before i conclude also make note that you could actually transfer the admin totally over to that person which i'm going to do right now which i could make them well i don't want to do it now for the sake of um, messing up my Zoom account, but I literally could make this second person the total host. And then what we found out, once you log off and leave, when you come back either later in the day, that um, it automatically defaults to you being the host itself. So I can make party uh, one or the second party, uh, the, the total controls of all um, of the admin rights. So that's another option. So you get co-host and you also have make them the entire host. We have done that um, over the course of last week and this week too. So that's your quick tutorial on how to create co-host and also how to make another person the host. Hope this is helpful.